Hey there guys, just going to give you a quick tutorial on how I got my FlySky FSI6 transmitter to work with my USB flight simulator FMS cable. There's been some issues whereas the computer or the flight simulator won't detect the channel 1 which is the role. So today I've came up with a solution to get this problem solved. This involves mixing two channels. So today we're going to mix channel 1 and channel 5. First you gotta head over to the menu. So you go along and press OK to get to the menu. Under the menu, you're gonna select system setup. That's the one with the little transmitter on the side. Under the system menu, you're gonna scroll to the sub menu, model select, and you're gonna select a model and rename it to what you desire. In my case, I've renamed it to sim. Then after that, you're going to head back out to the menu, and under the menu again, you, you go over to the Function Setup menu. Under the Function Setup menu, you're going to go to Submenu Endpoints. Select Endpoints, and on the Endpoints, you're going to look for Channel 5, and you're going to extend both Endpoints to 120. long press cancel to save and this is, this is going to take you back out onto the functions and setup menu under the function and setup menu again you're going to scroll down until you see mixes and you select mixes under the mixes you're going to turn on mix one for the master channel you're going to select channel one For the slave channel, you're going to select channel 5. For positive mix, you're going to change that to 75%. For negative mix, you're also going to change that to 75%. For offset, you're going to bring that down to negative 50. Then you long press cancel to save and this will take you back out onto the function menu. Under the function menu, you're going to scroll to display. Here's where we're going to verify if what we, what your input is right. So you select menu, um, display. And on the display, when you move channel 1, you should now see channel 5 moving. If by any chance you get back out to display and you've seen something looking like this, all you got to do is remember to move channel 5 to its lowest endpoint, which is rotating it clockwise. So let me head over to the sim and just to verify it that all this is working. Today we're going to use free rider and we're in the control setup. So now when you move the roll to the left you should see the left indicator moving. When you move the roll to the right, you should see the right indicator moving. Alright guys, thanks for watching.